As the ultimate challenge of Chapter 5, the Yaksha King stands out as the most formidable foe throughout the entire chapter. It's important to note that he is distinct from the Red Boy, as dying in this battle allows you to respawn at the Fallen Furnace Crater Shrine, without having to face the Red Boy again. This makes the encounter a bit more forgiving. Fortunately, you'll have Zhubaji by your side during the initial phase of the fight. However, don't underestimate the Yaksha King. He packs a serious punch. I recommend honing your skills without using consumables until you feel more assured. Then bring out your strongest potions to enhance your chances of success. The rock solid ability can be a game changer here, along with the golden lining transformation, which helps you effectively parry many of the Yaksha King's attacks. Be especially wary of his most lethal move, where he conjures two long flames and spins them in a series of wide-reaching, devastating strikes. The timing for this combo can be tricky. So if you find yourself struggling, consider activating your transformation and staying close to him. This way, you can inflict damage while absorbing hits without draining your health. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. Deprived, it's all the same. Choices, causes and effects, not what you're called. <laughs> Thanks to this false death talisman. Poor Keeper. Seems his legacy was his only offer after all. No wonder not a single raindrop was fanned. It was your trick the whole time. <sighs> My bad, old bull. I was a bit delayed. You little rascal. I'll teach you a lesson on your parents' behalf.
Holding on, despite it all. Does your vengeance weigh more than your family? Spit it out now, his relic! My king. I'm sorry for my lateness. I turned to them, but none offered help. My lady, forget it. I implore you to show mercy and spare my son. He is the last of the Yaksha's bloodline in the West. With an origin most tragic and twisted. Now, he poses a threat no more. Should you grant him mercy, I, Rakshasi, and the Balking shall retreat ourselves to secluded meditation. Along with our children, we will never leave the mountain again. He is our son. We will bear his punishment. If it pleases you, my plant in fan is also yours to take. Flames have paved my way. Through flames, I shan't stray. Fain was my flame for a revenge destined to stray. Their delight lies in our submission, kneeling and begging. 